okay so in today's class we we shall see we will see the vapor absorption refrigeration system okay let's see the different components of vapor absorption refrigeration system and this is evaporator this is absorber this generator and this is condenser uh, main refrigerant we use in vapor absorption refrigeration system is ammonia ammonia refrigerant now let's uh, see this uh, circuit diagram from this evaporator okay so in evaporator ammonia refrigerant takes heat from the foods and uh, gets evaporated okay so after evaporation uh, here it becomes low tem uh, low pressure vapor am ammonia vapor and this low pressure ammonia vapor goes to absorber and this is a water which absorbs ammonia ammonia vapor and uh, ammonia condenses here and uh, rejects uh, heat so this absorber become hot so to cool this absorber we are applying the cooling water circuit here so after the <coughs> condensing uh, condensation of the ammonia vapor uh, and uh, mixing with water this water and uh, ammonia which is a strong solution which is rich in ammonia goes to the pump and this pump pumps uh, the the solution and rises its pressure and feed it to generator where uh, we are applying some external means of heating like steam or electricity these are the external means for heating of this uh, ammonia water mixture and uh, when we heat then uh, after getting some amount of heat the ammonia vapor gets vaporized and uh, it is uh, since uh, it has its pressure has increased so it becomes a high pressure ammonia vapor and uh, in generator the weak solution of ammonia and water goes back to the absorber okay so uh, the maximum amount of am ammonia gets vaporized here and it comes to the condenser and uh, in condenser its heat rejects it rejects and uh, uh, we are applying here a cooling water circuit so in condenser it condenses and comes to the liquid form then this ammonia liquid goes to the expansion valve and uh, it expands on evaporator so this cycle continues uh, with this vapor simple absorption vapor system uh, remember this this is expansion valve and uh, above this expansion valve there is there will be high pressure and uh, below this there, these are the low pressure region okay so, so this this was a theoretical simple vapor absorption system now we will see that uh, practical vapor absorption system so in practical vapor absorption system there are three accessories first is analyzer second is rectifier and third is heat exchanger these accessories helps in improving performance and working of the plant okay so we will see this attachment of these accessories on circuit diagram of the practical vapor absorption system okay so this is diagram of practical refrigeration vapor absorption system let's start this from evaporator this is a evaporator where ammonia vapor uh, ammonia has become in form of vapor and this vapor passes through this uh, heat exchanger and uh, at this heat exchanger it gets sub cooled okay this vapor becomes cool and the and after this this vapor passes to the absorber where uh, the same water is there and uh, we are providing a cooling water circuit here to cool this absorber it is re rejecting here uh, so and uh, ammonia vapor is getting condensed and this mixture of uh, strong solution of uh, liquid uh, liquid ammonia and uh, water uh, goes to the pump where the pump rises its pressure and after upon rising the pressure it goes through this heat exchanger where it gets preheated in this heat exchanger it gets preheated and in this heat exchanger it gets pre-cooled or sub-cooled you can say and then uh, this passes through this uh, this uh, this is a generator and uh, this is some kind of heating heating medium and uh, in this generator it gets uh, vaporized and uh, this analyzer this analyzer separates uh, the ammonia vapor and uh, water con con condensed water so uh, upon uh, after passing through this analyzer it, the ammonia vapor comes to the rectifier 
ओके एंड द रेस्ट सॉल्यूशन द वीक सॉल्यूशन ऑफ अमोनिया एंड वाटर कम बैक टू द हीट एक्सचेंजर थ्रू दिस हीट एक्सचेंजर कम बैक्स टू द एब्जॉर्बर ओके नाउ नाउ फ्रॉम हियर थ्रू द रेक्टिफायर इट पासिस थ्रू द रेक्टिफायर वेयर वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग एडिशनल कूलिंग कूलिंग वाटर सर्किट एंड इन दिस रेक्टिफायर the water uh, remaining water droplets uh, water vapor becomes in the form of droplets and uh, it get condensed and uh, come back to the analyzer and the rest of ammonia vapor goes to the condenser so this is this this vapor is pure form of vapor there is a very low amount of water water vapor so it gets condensed here in condenser and uh, after after condensing in liquid form it come back to uh, through this heat exchanger to the expansor valve and then evaporator and uh, this cycle continues so uh, we have seen that uh, this heat exchanger this analyzer and this rectifier is uh, somehow uh, increasing its performance so these are important accessories which can be asked in exam now let's see the properties of ideal refrigerant properties of ideal refrigerant so first uh, property is that uh, its boiling temperature should be boiling temperature boiling temperature should be between uh, between 2 to Two degree centigrade to ten degree centigrade. Okay, this this would be the boiling temperature of uh, the refrigerant, and the condensation should be above condensation. Condensation should start start above forty degree centigrade. Centigrade. Okay. Now second point is. Uh, the ideal refrigerant should have large latent heat of vaporization large latent heat large latent heat of vaporization large latent heat of vaporization and uh, it should have high critical temperature high critical temperature low specific heat stability in complete cycle stability in complete cycle cycle now let's see properties of ideal absorbent uh, first is uh, greater affinity for the refrigerant greater affinity for the refrigerant for the refrigerant second is uh, high boiling point high boiling point it should not boil easily it should have high boiling point low specific heat low specific heat chemical stability chemical stability stability now at last we should we should see the advantage of vapor absorption refrigeration system that uh, its operation operating cost is low and uh, we eliminate the many electrical loads uh, in case of uh, vapor absorption refrigeration system and uh, these are so advantages over vapor compression refrigeration system and uh, let's see at last uh, uh, the revise just our properties of the ammonia ammonia so we have seen that uh, latent heat of ammonia properties properties of ammonia ammonia uh, we have seen latent heat latent heat of ammonia which is 313.5 kilo calorie 
पर के जी ओके क्रिटिकल टेम्परेचर ऑफ अमोनिया क्रिटिकल टेम्परेचर ऑफ अमोनिया इज 132.6 डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड अब बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ अमोनिया बॉइलिंग पॉइंट दिस इज माइनस थर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस एट वन एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर एंड स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑफ अमोनिया स्पेसिफिक हीट इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट वन टू ओके सो इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल सी द इलेक्ट्रोलक्स रिफ्रिजरेशन सिस्टम नाउ नेक्स्ट इज डोमेस्टिक इलेक्ट्रोलक्स रेफ्रिजरेटर डोमेस्टिक इलेक्ट्रोलक्स रेफ्रिजरेटर ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड मुंटन स्प्लेटन सिस्टम और मुंटन प्लेटन सिस्टम प्लेटन सिस्टम सिंस दिज आर द नेम ऑफ द साइंटिस्ट हु डिस्कवर दिस इलेक्ट्रोलक्स रेफ्रिजरेटर और दे इन्वेंटेड दिस रेफ्रिजरेटर सो इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड मुंटन प्लेटन सिस्टम और दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज थ्री फ्लूड एब्जॉर्बन सिस्टम थ्री फ्लूड थ्री फ्लूड एब्जॉर्बन सिस्टम एब्जॉर्बन सिस्टम सिंस इट कंटेन्स थ्री टाइप ऑफ फ्लूड अमोनिया हाइड्रोजन एंड वाटर दीज आर द्री फ्लूड विच वी यूज इन इलेक्ट्रोलक्स रेफ्रिजरेटर नाउ लेट सी इट्स डायग्राम सो आई एम ड्रॉइंग हियर एन इवापोरेटर this is evaporator evaporator and uh, from the evaporator this is a mixture of h2 plus ns3 which goes to absorber okay so you know that uh, in absorber there is water water we we use water as absorber and this h2 gas come back from here and uh, this is the rich solution of ammonia plus h2o which goes to generator generator we are we are providing external heat to the generator and this is strong so this is a strong solution a strong solution which is rich in ammonia and this goes back to this after uh, after passing through this generator it becomes vapor so vapor ammonia goes to nh3 वाटर सेपरेटर दिस गोज टू वाटर सेपरेटर वाटर सेपरेटर दिस इज वाटर सेपरेटर ओके एंड एंड आफ्टर दिस इट गोज टू अमोनिया वेपर गोज टू कम कंडेंसर एन एच थ्री वेपर गोज टू कंडेंसर कंडेंसर and then it again come to evaporator this is nh3 liquid uh, and uh, from this uh, the weak solution of ammonia and water come back to absorber weak solution weak ammonia plus water okay now <coughs> let's discuss once again what is happening here uh in evaporator there is a presence of hydrogen gas hydrogen gas okay so when the liquid refrigerant liquid refrigerant nh3 comes to evaporator there is a hydrogen gas which is a very light gas and it helps to vaporize ammonia refrigerant easily so after vaporization uh, with hydrogen gas this ammonia uh, ammonia vapor come to absorber and in absorber there is a water which absorb the ammonia and uh, since the hydrogen is insoluble in uh, water so it come back to evaporator so 
हाइड्रोजन ओनली ऑपरेट हाइड्रोजन गैस सर्किट इज ओनली हियर बिटवीन एब्जॉर्बर एंड इवापोरेटर इट कम्स टू एब्जॉर्बर देन कम बैक टू इवापोरेटर ओके सो दिस दिस वाटर वाटर एब्जॉर्ब अमोनिया एंड दिस स्ट्रॉन्ग सोल्यूशन ऑफ अमोनिया एंड वाटर कम्स टू द जनरेटर वेयर वी आर अप्लाइंग एक्सटर्नल हीट एंड दिस आफ्टर गेनिंग द हीट ऑफ हीट दिस अमोनिया वेप्राइजेस वेप्राइज अमोनिया एंड वाटर वेप्राइजेस एंड दिस कम टू द वाटर सेपरेटर वेयर द वाटर कंडेंस इजली एंड वीक सोल्यूशन ऑफ अमोनिया एंड वाटर कम्स टू एब्जॉर्बर एंड द अमोनिया वेपर गोज टू अमोनिया वेपर गोज टू कंडेंसर एंड here it condenses and uh, in the liquid form it come back to evaporator and the cycle goes goes on you can see in the circuit diagram that there is no use of any pump or any devices external devices uh, it it works purely on the basis of convection uh, it is uh, working on convection and there are advantages disadvantage of this uh, electrolux uh, refrigerator system that advantages are that no pump is used no maintenance cost no wear tear and the lubrication cost these all are reduced the system is completely leak proof it is noiseless uh, but the disadvantage is that it has very low cop okay let's see the disadvantage major disadvantage is that this advantage is that low cop okay more complete it is more complicated in construction and once any part of this refrigerator is spoils uh, it you have to bring it completely the new one because you can't repair this uh, it is uh, another disadvantage so let's complete the lecture here and then see you in next class